Hello friends, welcome to the new video of Theme Hunk. I am Sarah here to show you how to add and use TH all-in-one WooCart to WooCommerce website. This is used to add a cart to a website and it offers multiple features along with that we will see in this video. Let's understand the all-in-one WooCart plugin first. This allows you to add a cart to your website using shortcode or PHP code. You can add coupon details to the cart. Likewise, shipping details can also be added and you can control mobile cart settings. There are lots of exciting features we will see in this video. In this video, we will be using the TH Shop Mania theme which comes with pre-made templates that are ready to use. It is specifically designed for online shopping websites. Let's get started. Currently, we do not have a cart on the site. Go to your dashboard. Hover on plugins and click on add new plugin. Search for TH All-in-One WooCart. This is our plugin, install it. Now activate it. The Theme Shop Mania is integrated with the All-in-One WooCart plugin so the cart has automatically come to the site. After activation, the Theme Hunk should come in the menu. Go to Theme Hunk and click on THAO WooCart. This is the plugin dashboard. In the integration section, you get the methods to add the cart to the website. First is to add the cart in the header menu, but it is available in the pro version only. We will do this after some time. The second method is adding a cart using a short code. The short code is given here, copy it. Go to the page where you want to add the cart. I am adding the cart to the shop page. So open the page and paste the short code. Update the page. Go to the page to see the preview. It is added as we desired. Another method is adding the cart using PHP code. In this method, you have to insert this code into the PHP file. This is the general section. Here we can enable or disable the floating cart or fixed cart. Let's see. Currently, there is a floating cart. After refresh, the cart is no longer here. This is cart style. The fixed cart is available in the pro version. And these are the position settings of the fixed cart. This is the entry animation of the cart. This shows the count on the cart. Currently, it is showing the number of products. Now let's switch it to the sum of the quantity of all products. The cart shows two products, which is the number of products. After increasing the quantity, it is still showing the same number. After refresh, it shows the quantity of the products. From here, you can hide the cart from specific pages. I want to hide the cart from the Contact Us page. So writing the page ID, you can also write it slug. The cart from the Contact Us is removed. Both sections are to edit the text. This is for the cart heading and this shows when the cart is empty. You can redirect users to another page when the cart is empty. You can insert the URL of that page. The cart setting is available only in the Pro version. Let's upgrade the plugin to Premium. Click on the Upgrade Now button. This is the plugin page. Scroll down to the pricing. Pick your desired plan. Fill out this form. After completion, you will get the plugin in the zip file. Now install the Pro plugin. Go to Plugins and click on Add New Plugin. Click on Upload Plugin. Now upload the plugin. Install and activate it. Go to Theme Hunk in the menu. Now it shows to IO WooCart Pro. All the options are unlocked. Let's see the options that were locked in the free version. In integration, now we can integrate the WooCart into the menu. Go to Appearance and click on Menus. 
In menu items, drop down the WooCart section, check the box and add it to the menu. Save the menu. Let's see the preview. The cart has come to the menu. In the general section, you can now change the style from floating cart to fixed cart. This is a floating cart, and this is what a fixed cart looks like. This product order. Currently, when we add a new product, it adds at the top, but now you can change it. Currently, the product's getting added at the top. Let's change the setting. After changing the setting, it automatically came to the bottom. A new product will also come at the bottom. These are card icons, you can choose any one of them and also upload your custom icon if you want. This is to bold the icon. Let's head towards the cart section. These are the elements shown in the cart. You can hide them from here. In the cart, both products are showing the quantity. Let's hide it. Now the quantity is hidden. This is the products you may like section. This is its preview. You can disable it from here. This is to change the text of the heading. Here you can choose which product should be shown. These are the payment settings. Payment details are shown just below the products. These both are heading text for payment and subtotal. This box helps to enable or disable the shipping. This is how shipping shows on the cart. Here you can edit the text. These options are the same as above, but for discount and total text. This section is for coupon settings. This box is to enable or disable the coupon. Let's see the coupon. This is the coupon part. Here you can see the list if there are more coupons available. You can apply the coupon from here. These are the text for the placeholder and coupon buttons. You can disable the list of the coupon from here. See the coupon list is hidden. If you want to edit the View Coupons button then this section is here. You can hide the Applied Coupon list from here. The Cart Style option is to enhance the appearance of the cart with beautiful colors. You could stylize every section including Menu Cart, Fixed or Floating Cart, Cart Panel Style, and other sections individually. This is mobile cart. This section is given to control the cart on mobile devices. With this box, you can enable or disable the menu or shortcode cart. And these are options for the same. Let's test this. I have checked the disable cart option. And the cart is disabled on the mobile. These are the same but for the floating or fixed cart. The floating cart is hidden. From the cart panel, you can disable the elements of the cart which includes products you may like, shipping and coupon sections. You can disable them from the mobile devices. And this is the reset button. Here you can reset all the changes you have made in WooCart plugin. 
So this is the WooCart plugin used to put a cart on the site with multiple functionalities. Thanks for watching.